every Gundam and Gundam Evolution. This time, we're talking about one of the most iconic and one of the most recognized mobile suits that's been mass produced as infantry in the entire anime series. Big Dom, baby! This variant of Big Dom comes equipped with the Giga Launcher DR-1 Multiplex, which functions as both a rocket launcher and a laser beam. That boy, that is a monster! The rocket launcher is a beast. It's absolutely critical for team fights as it lays down huge amounts of splash damage. The splash damage alone is pretty solid, but the direct hits is where the real money is at. Direct hits with these rockets will have a Gundam pilot questioning all of his decisions up until this point. Overall though, I do give it a B- for damage. You would think with a futuristic rocket platform like this, it would be like the mini nuke from Fallout. But instead it does decent damage, and with the direct hits, it could probably be a B or a B plus. The secondary laser is pretty solid. It's great for finishing off enemies, especially after you laid down a ton of splash damage as well as hitting targets from a distance and doing pretty good burst damage. Overall I give the laser beam a B plus but it really could be an A if the laser beam traveled through multiple targets instead of stopping at the first thing it hits. Next up on the list Big Dom has suction sensor mines. Now personally I think the developer could have came up with a better name than this. Vortex mines, gravity mines, singularity sensors. Instead we're left with the basic name of suction mines because the developer likes to get kinky. Overall, the mines do really underwhelming damage, and especially for the title of suction mines, they really don't do a good job of sucking the enemy into the mines either. Hey, yo. If the enemy is blind enough to run into one of these things, it won't hurt them that bad, but at least you'll know that they're snared for a moment by the suction. Another thing that makes these mines somewhat more effective is the fact that they can be placed on walls. It's pretty nice. In order to make these mines more effective, I think the suction needs to be greater, and the explosion radius needs to be greater, and the explosion damage needs to be much higher. All we're left with right now is essentially giant cookies that the enemy can use to track back to the source. Next up on the list, Dom has an armor gun. Now the armor gun does exactly what you would think it does. You shoot your teammate and they get armor instead of death. It's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So what is the armor? Basically it's just bonus health. I do wish that we got a little bit more out of this, but the more that I think about the amount of buffs that you get from other teammates, Unicorn Gundam, we're looking at you, I really think that it's fairly balanced. Sometimes I do want just a little bit more out of it. The armor gun solidifies Dom's role as the off tank because the armor gun really shines when it's used on a tank or a healer, specifically the tank because they have a shield or they have bonus health anyway. So Dom gives them bonus health on top of the bonus health they already received. Finally, we have his ult, which is Screaming Nimbus. He ditches the Giga Launcher DR1 Multiplex, and instead, he becomes the rocket. Arguably, this is one of the best alts in the game because it's perfect for clearing enemy groups or clearing the objective of all enemy combat. With some luck and a little bit of timing, you could potentially knock the entire enemy team off of an objective. It doesn't matter the size of the mobile suit or the Gundam. When you see Screaming Nimbus, you get out of the way of Screaming Nimbus. I think Dom is one of the most vital mobile suits when it comes to team play. I would even go as far as to say that he is a must have on any team. His damage and his team utility make him one of the most fearsome assault units on any battlefield. Much love to all my Dom mains out there. Hope you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for more Gundam breakdowns and I'll see you on the battlefield.